Hi, my name is Ben Thompson from Sussex Shooting on Instagram. Um, today I'm going to be bringing you a review of my Benelli M2 in affiliation with Gunstar. First I'd like to talk you through the construction and build of this gun. Um, just to show the camera, the gun is empty and safe. Slot the bolt back open. Starting from the back of the gun, we've got the Benelli patented Compatex stock. It's got these gel inserts and gel comb and contoured gel butt pad. Um, this really serves to reduce recoil in the gun, especially when shooting some of the heavier loads. If you're wild fowling, shooting geese, shooting three inch magnums, this really goes a great deal to uh, soaking up recoil um, and making those quick follow up shots much easier. Um, it's easily removable by removing the back gel butt pad and just undoing the bolt, stock pops off. It's also adjustable, the gun comes as standard with a set of shims and you can raise and lower the drop and you can yeah, just make it fit you better, which is fantastic. I've tuned it to me um, and it fits me great. It's a really, really, really good customizable bit of kit. Come moving forward on the receiver, we've got the Benelio inertia system. This is where the magic happens, two piece rotating bolt. No, not many working parts at all, um, not much to go wrong, massively reliable um, and really again serves to reduce a lot of the recoil because it uses the force of the spent shot to cycle the bolt. So you've got a lot of the recoil being sucked out of the gun here and then anything left gets dampened by the stock. Again, fantastic. Um, got a plastic trigger group here, but it's robust and reliable. Um, I've knocked and dinked this gun plenty of times and there's no real visible marks. Uh, moving forward on the gun, you've got a nice contoured grip, um, full grip, sorry. Uh, again, it's got nice and textured, so you've got wet hands, you're out in the rain or whatever, you're not going to lose your grip. And it does aim, does lend itself nicely. You've got a nice groove for your finger, so when you're bringing the gun up, it comes up nicely, good positive grip. The magazine end cap comes as standard with sling swivels, 28 inch. Uh, field barrel. Uh, it's multi choke, comes with five chokes as standard. It's numerous aftermarket chokes for them as well. Um, yeah, it's just really solid, well built Italian gun, and you really can't go wrong with them. One of the main things I have to say about Benelli shotguns and the Benelli autos in particular is they are the most reliable semi automatic shotguns on the market, and in my opinion, the best semi automatic shotguns on the market. I've had mine for five years now and I've fired tens of thousands of cartridges through this. I've never had a failure. Um, it cycles everything from 65mm all the way up to these 3 inch magnums wonderfully. I mean, this you know, I will quit before this gun does. There's just no way on this earth I think this gun will ever break on me. It is incredible. It's been out in all conditions with me, wet, it's got soaked through, covered in mud, got mud all in the working parts when I've been out wild fowling. It really, really is just an absolute trooper, complete workhorse of a gun. Ideal for gamekeepers, wild fowlers, just anyone looking for something that you can just sling in the back of your truck or car, take out and just go bang every single time you pull the trigger. As well as being a really reliable gun, these are massively, massively customizable. I've actually, this has been my personal gun, I've tricked it out a little bit already. Um, one of the things I noticed, one of the few negative things I have to say about Benelli's is the lifter that comes as standard. They're forked and there's a well-known thing of Benelli bite. Uh, I've taken the skin off the back of my thumb on more than one occasion, load, trying to cram cartridges in quickly behind the hide. Uh, really uncomfortable, not much fun. Um, but there are plenty of aftermarket lifters out there. I've got one of the Terran Tactical Practical Shotgun lifters in mine. This thing's as smooth as butter to load with this in now. Admittedly, it's another 60 quid on top of what already isn't a cheap gun when there's a lot of other cheap autos out there, but this really does make this a much, much better gun. It's already an incredible bit of kit, but this really does improve it. I've also installed a Terran Tactical Extended Bolt Handle on mine, again, Reason being, I found in winter and stuff with gloved hands, trying to load quickly behind the hide. Just having something a little bit bigger, a little bit more positive, nice and easy to work. And just wrap a finger around it, get all of the controls nice and easily. And um, also makes swapping cartridges out really easy. I've had a couple of times out walking on the hedgerows, spot a fox come around the corner before it spots me. Just quietly manipulate the bolt, take the cartridge out, plonk in a AAA or SG or BB or whatever I have in my belt in there, quietly close it, 
hoping Charlie doesn't hear it. <laughs> and then you're ready to go and you can take a fox. You can also get numerous different um, sort of pistol grip stocks and a lot of people in the practical shooting world, three gun competitions and things go for these. Um, again, because they're massively reliable, very quick, um, cyclic rate. Um, you can get magazine extensions up to sort of 12 shot. I think if you've got a um, section one shotgun, this is only a section two, it's a two plus one capacity, you know, it's a hunting gun. Um, I don't need any more than three shots. If you can't do it in three shots, you shouldn't be shooting at it anyway, in my opinion. Um, there's also lots of aftermarket chokes. I've got several different ones. I'm a bit of a tackle tart, I can't help myself. I've got a um, Teague precision half choke there. I tend to, if I'm gonna shoot clays with this, which I do occasionally, I'll put that in. And then I've got my wild fouling chokes. Well, my general rough shooting choke is my Kicks High Flyer. Uh, patterns lead, uh, um, I think it's half choke, but still it's sort of full choke. Um, and then my Pattern Master, which is sort of a long range goose shooting choke which patterns ridiculously tight out to you know, silly ranges and enables me to take geese at distance. The gun itself comes with the five um, standard Benelli cryo chokes. Again, there's nothing wrong with them. They pattern really nicely. Um, not much more to say on that, really. When I first bought this gun, I was bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and thought I was going to buy my rough shooting gun and go out and get some permission straight away. Uh, as I came to find out, get, find out getting permission isn't that easy. So for the first few, well six months of owning this gun, I was shooting clays with it, and I have to say, it does that really well. It's a really versatile gun, as I say, it fits me really well. It might look a bit out of place on the lane, but it didn't you know I shot it well, which was fine. Shot some pretty good scores with it. Um, later on, got my first permission. Um, I've been using this as a vermin control tool. Shot. God knows how many crows, wood pigeons, squirrel and rabbit with it. And then in the last couple of years I got into wild fowling and I've used this predominantly as my um, goose shooting gun. Um, again, you know, with the three inch magnums, as I said earlier, so it's to recoil up really nicely. Um, makes this a massively versatile gun. You know, you can take pretty much any quarry with it, um, bar sort of taking it onto a driven shoot or something like that, you would get laughed off the uh, estate. But as a, you know, a, a workhorse and a rough shooting gun and a, and a wild fowling gun you couldn't really you can't really go wrong with a Benelli M2. Right now let's talk about what this will cost you. Uh, new these are £1,295 they were actually cheaper when I when I got mine one was only £1,195 but there was a price increase some time ago. You can get more basic models of this that retail at £900 I believe that's the Benelli M1 it's exactly the same gun except it hasn't got the Comfortex stock. I don't, I believe the forend isn't as nice. It doesn't come with as many chokes. It doesn't come in the nice hard carry case that the uh, proper M, well, the, proper, the Comfortex M2 comes in. Um, obviously there's a lot of other semi-automatics on the market. I know a lot of guys shoot arm sands, um, guys and girls, sorry, shoot arm sands. Oh, I've seen hat sand escorts, and you've got sort of more upmarket, other mates, Browning Maxxis, um, the Beretta sort of extremer series of uh, semi-automatics, but they're all gas guns. And I honestly believe inertia driven is the way to go. They're just so much less to go wrong. Haven't got the gas parts to get fouled up and cause misfires and malfunctions. Um, so yeah, uh, I think for the money, you really can't go wrong with a Benelli M2. I know it's not cheap and you could get yourself a half decent, well, you know, a nice over and under uh, for that money. But really this gun will just keep shooting and keep shooting, it will outshoot you. It's simple as that, it's just, they're so unbelievably reliable, and well built. As I say, I've had mine for such a long time now, and I've never had any real issues or problems with it. Um, and I've done everything with it. It really has just been an absolute, my go-to gun in my cabinet. I just can't say much more about it. It's just fantastic, reliable bit of kit. So to conclude, you know, this is a fantastic gun. I absolutely love it. Um, I'll never get rid of it, this will always have a place in my cabinet and it'll always be my go-to rough shooting tool. It's amazingly well built, robust, durable, reliable. You can't really ask much more from a hunting gun. Um, any gamekeeper, pigeon shooter, wildfowler would be lucky to have one in their cabinet. So if you're looking at buying one, go and get it now. Can't recommend them enough. Um, you can go and buy something cheaper. Buy cheap, buy twice, buy a Benelli, buy once. Um, as I said already, you'll quit before this gun does. They are fantastic. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, I'm Ben Thompson of Sussex Shooting. Um, see you again soon. Happy hunting.